Welcome to this quick video. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to quickly and accurately evaluate deals. So the first step that you want to do is once you have your, your properties uploaded, um, you've uploaded your new properties, filled out the, the lead sheet and everything, you're going to want to evaluate these deals and kind of see what price we can purchase the property for. So you'll go on to our, our listing screen here. You can see you have your Google Documents um, tab in there you have all of this filled out what they're asking what their lowest acceptable is the next step you can do is go to this comparable sales tab it's just straight over from the notes click on the comparable sales tab so then what that is going to do is bring up several properties that are similar to this in the area you know sometimes it'll also bring up in this we say sorry it couldn't accurately freedomsoft will determine kind of what they estimate if they do you know we'll copy that and paste it too but if they don't then what we're gonna have to do is look at it for ourselves so what the goal here is to find similar houses that are within you know about 300 to 500 square feet of our subject property and what that means is for instance say our subject property here is 1200 square feet it's a three bedroom one bath house what we want to find is all of the three bedroom one bath houses or two bath one to two bath bathrooms don't really matter but just bedrooms three bedroom houses that are within about 300 square feet of 1200 three to 500 so you'll see here this is 1200 this is a very similar property that is 1200 we want to find properties that are within um, 500 feet 500 square feet over that so that'd be 1700 would be the max that we'd go up to and then we'd go below that which we'd go to 700 would be the max we'd go to below that so what you're gonna do here is first okay we'll select this one it's very similar let's look for another three bedroom you can see here here's a three bedroom three bath but this is 2800 square feet so we don't want to select that one that one's too big We'll go down here. Here's another three bedroom, two bath, 1600. That is in our target range. We'll select that. Um, and you want to select about three to five of these properties is kind of what we'll select. So here's another one, three bedroom, one bath, 1200. That is right in there. Three bedroom, two bath, 1700. As long as it's right in that 1700 range, we'll select it. Um, here's another three bedroom, two bath, 1300. Um, so you can see here, here's a and then you know I would say that's here's a three three bedroom one bath that's 2,000 square feet do not select that one that is too high then here will be a three bedroom one bath 1600 square feet so we'll select that one so there you go you have your property selected you have a good idea and then what you will see here is your offer calculator you'll see here my estimate all those properties averaged we estimate that the property fixed up and in 100 good condition has an after repair value ARV of 139 or you know 140 you can round up a little bit so 140 is what we think so then what you want to do is we want to offer from that 140 about 50 to 60 percent of that so 50 percent here is 69,000 that would be what we would want to offer what we could pay for the property um, so what I want you to do then is from your offer here copy this so however you can copy this copy that um, that didn't really work but copy that and then you're gonna go back to go to you'll see up here it'll say return to property details and I want you to copy this into here so then you can see there you have that copied in there and then save the property as and then what the next step is you're going to go back to the seller if you have a contact in here and give them a call and tell them the most that we can offer is somewhere around the or what we can offer what you'll say is hi this is whatever your name is um, this is Christopher Cedars a assistant and I ran some numbers and based on kinda what we're buying in the area we could offer somewhere around the 69,000 range is that something that would work for you and then they will say no yes you know we're, we're close and if they say that we're close 
what you're going to do is awesome. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Christopher Cedar give you a call, and we're going to set up a time to come out and look at the property. Does that work for you? Yes, it does. And then find out what time of day they would like us to come out, and then that is all you do. Now, one quick note. If this comparable sales over here does not work, say nothing comes up, um, what you can do is email me, cedar.chris at gmail.com. Send me an email, and we'll try to figure it out. Um, otherwise, another thing you can go to is the site called Zillow, Z-I-L-L-O-W dot com. And what you can do on Zillow here is just type in the address in here. Type in the address and continue my latest search. And what that'll do is that'll bring up the, the property here, and it'll give you a what's called a Zestimate. That's what they think that the property is worth. So they think it's worth about 152, which is a little higher than than what we had thought um, at the 140 mark. But you know that's okay. Um, if it's a little higher, Zillow isn't quite as accurate as the, as the other. But you know then maybe go with this and and take you know 10,000 off of this or or so is kind of what what you might have to do. But if that doesn't come up, you know copy the Zillow link and paste the Zillow link into the notes section and then we can figure out what to offer there and then email me the listing but that's all you do for running comparable sales um, so start there and you know that'll be kind of our initial offer and then we'll go from there I will talk to you soon